Hi, it's Jacek from the Bible in the Air podcast that I record in Polish, and today's verse of the day comes from James chapter 1, verse 27, which reads, Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. My four-year-old has been hitting me with some very serious questions lately, and they usually start with something like, Daddy, is Jesus happy that? Daddy, is Jesus happy that I listen to his music? Daddy, is Jesus happy that I read my Bible? It's cute and all, but let's be honest, we all have very similar questions about our faith, don't we? There are different spiritual practices that we often use to try to gauge the quality of our faith. Things like prayer, Bible reading, and church attendance. And all of these things are critical for growing in faith. Now, James, the author of today's verse, is known for his devotion to prayer. In fact, an early church historian said that his knees became as hard as Camel's knees from all the praying he did. And while he could have boasted about his devotion and prayer life, James wants us to focus on two elements that God uses to gauge the genuineness of our faith. Before we move on, Praying, studying the Bible, and being a part of a church community are important. But what these spiritual practices are supposed to do is to align our hearts with God's heart. And when we do, we start to care about what He cares about or what makes Him happy. And that's what this verse is showing us. Firstly, God cares more about how we live than what we say we believe. One of the key ways our faith is reflected is how we treat those in need. God wants us to be actively supporting the most vulnerable. Even when it's hard or we might not often know how to do it best, asking the Holy Spirit to guide us in our actions is a great idea if we sense a need but are unsure of how to address it. Secondly, in a world full of temptations, opportunities, and shortcuts, James encourages us to be transformed by the power of the gospel and not by what the world has to offer. And the application is simple. If what we do doesn't help us get closer to fulfilling God's ways in our lives, we shouldn't do it. So let's reflect on these questions today. How much do our spiritual practices influence the way we treat others and how willing are we to take the narrow path of God's ways in our lives? These are the things that truly make our Father happy.